What do you like about that CX-50? Everybody wants to know. Well, I'll tell you what, there are five things that I actually love about this car. Let's take a look at the exterior styling, first of all. Look at that, that wide stance. Take a look at that front end. That blacked out grill with the nice Mazda logo. With the widened wheel wells, front and rear. It's got these vents right here. Give it just kind of that wide stance. In addition to the wide stance, you've also got this black uh, molding around the wheel wells and along the bottom. Just really gives it just kind of that off-road look. We've got privacy glass that comes standard, which you can actually get it matched using a 20%. 20% seems to be a pretty good match. Not legal in all states. Check where you live. Additionally, we have the 20 inch wheels that are wrapped in these Goodyear uh, touring tires, more street biased, but I've had it off-road plenty and it's done great. And then checking out the rear, we have again, we have these vents and then we've got the wide wheel wells, dual exhaust with the silver tips and this silver plastic molding along the bottom. And then you have the rails up here. You could absolutely put uh, racks across the top. Put your little kayak up there if you want. Heated mirrors, panoramic sunroof. Now let's take a look inside and see what I love about the inside. Going to engage the my drive. We're gonna put it into sport and we're out here on an open highway. Let's see how this thing does. This is the 2.5 liter turbo engine that generates 256 horsepower with ease. She likes to go. Yeah, now compared to the stock 2.5 non-turbo version with 187 horsepower, this 256 makes all the difference. It really is very uh, sports car-esque, you know, for, uh, for just a little CUV, little crossover uh, SUV type vehicle. This thing moves out. Something else I love about this 2023 CX-50 is the interior styling. Take a look at that. This one comes with the terracotta leather heated seats. You've got the, um, I believe it's, uh, I believe all this adds up to like 10 way power seat. You can control lumbar, you can control forward and back. We've also got our power windows. We've got our power mirror and our door locks. Over here, we have our traction control. We have uh, traction control on, traction control off, uh, eye stop. This right here is opening the rear cargo area. These are your presets for your memory seat settings. In here, we have the uh, full controls audio system right here. We've got, you can take and receive phone calls. You can check your info on the dash using this button. Over here, you have lane uh, canceling. I believe they call that lane departure warning system. You can control that from here. I believe that's what that is. And then this is your cruise control and set your cruise here or turn it on and off here on and off on and then you set it here and additionally you have this kind of this command center so you have um this is the um let's see so we'll refer to this so we've got our smart break where if you set this it will actually uh, you don't have to put your foot on the brake when you're at a stoplight, which is pretty amazing. You've got your electric parking, you've got your audio on and off right here, and you've got your star settings here, home, and that's all controls this up here. If you want to go home, there's your Apple Smart Play, your Apple, what do they call that? Apple CarPlay, I believe, and you can control it all from here. You can scroll around and check out all your different settings, go to your music, and then you can control it from right here. You can control it all right here. And these, you know, I gotta be honest with you, at first, I wasn't too sure about these, but I've absolutely 
come to love them. They're fantastic. Love it. I feel like I'm uh, aboard the USS Enterprise and I'm commanding like Jean-Luc Picard from Star Trek. In case you didn't get the reference. Additionally, let's see what other tech do we have in here. Obviously you have your climate control which is dual climate control you can set yours the same as your passenger and you can control all that here control your heated seats right there inside the interior you have a uh, auto dimming rear view mirror and you know what i love here is the simplicity of it you can control the lights right there okay you can control turn them both on turn them both off you can control your uh, power sunroof right here And then one thing that I absolutely love is this right here. It's simple. You got a sunglass holder. Just give me a sunglass holder. Thank you very much, Mazda. Okay, and then over here you have your little clip if you want to hang on to things. And then you've got your mirror and a LED light right there on and off. And then you've got your additional sun visor right here if you want to use that some cup holders place to put your gloves you've got paddle shifters as well which are kind of nice to bring out your inner mario andretti if you've got one so that uh those are basically the interior settings and i love them this is like being in the cockpit of a much more expensive vehicle than we're actually in remember you can get one of these for around forty thousand. Mine was just under, 38.7, I think it was. So, uh, so yeah, there's a quick look at the interior. Now, the last thing, you can pop the cargo area, and inside, you've got quite a bit of storage here. Let's take a look. This is an optional uh, rear cover that you can get from your Mazda dealer. Also, these are some, uh, it's a cargo net that you can store your groceries in or your dog toys or your soccer balls, whatever you've got. Additionally, over here, it'll store uh, a set of golf clubs, but it's winter, so I don't have mine back here. So this thing has quite a bit of storage to get you where you're going, so you can bring all your stuff with you. So that's another thing I love about this Mazda CX-50.